Hello, welcome to WASM Day. Hope you're having a great time. Sorry I'm not here with you in person this time. Um, I'll be along in a couple of days, so see you then. I'm Justin Cormack. I'm the CTO at Docker. I'm on the CMCF Technical Oversight Committee where we um, look at a lot of WASM sandbox projects recently. Um, and I'm here to talk a bit about how Docker's working with WASM and what, what I think about it myself. Um, before I worked at Docker, I actually was working on unikernels, and there's a lot of interesting similarities I find between unikernels and WebAssembly. Um, I actually was looking through my emails, and I, I remember I spoke to Ed Shooten about um, Cloud ABI, because I was really interested in it back then. Um, Cloud ABI was one of the ways that uh, WASI actually kind of happened, very roundabout in, in the end. but. I was interested in a capability-based cut-down version of POSIX to build unikernels on, so we get existing applications to run as unikernels. And I think there's a lot of similarities to what we're trying to do with WebAssembly, trying to build standalone applications that don't need a lot of um, runtime and operating system and can just run in a kind of hosted environment. Um, back in 2019, we spent some time at Docker playing around with a really early version of WASI, and that's when uh, Solomon put out a tweet that everyone, um, t I think it's compulsory everyone quotes in their WebAssembly talk, saying that we wouldn't have built Docker if, uh, if WASI and WebAssembly had been around. I think it's, I mean, history's fun, and I'm always interested in the history of software, but, you know, I think the, the reality is that we kind of... Um, we build things in the context and with the learnings of the things that come before. Um, not so many people quote Solomon's next tweet in there just immediately after that, which says that, you know, we, we can, you can see a world where we have WebAssembly containers and um, x86 containers and so on all sitting next to each other. And I think, you know, that world's pretty close now. Um, Chris, is, Chris Crone's giving a talk later on today um, about some more experiments we've been doing along those lines. Um, but you know, we we build things on on the communities that exist already. We build things with the tools that exist already, and we take the things we've learned from from the rest of the the world and what's worked. Um, the, you know, the Bytecode Alliance is very explicit about this in their in their charter that you know they're building upon the things that exist, not replacing them. As a community, we've learned a lot about what made Docker successful. The cloud native ecosystem is built around some of these primitives that were, you know, kind of experiments when Docker started about um, workflows like the build, share, run workflow, um, which turned out to be incredibly powerful for developers to build applications with. We don't think that, you know, there's ever, an, you, people are ever gonna build an ecosystem where these things just go away and they're just, not, not there for developers, because developers have internalized these and they understand the value. And there's other pieces that we're, you know, working with like content addressable storage uh, for build artifacts, which are really critical from security point of view and, and so on, and um, enable a lot of applications to be built and a lot of ecosystem to be built around them. And these things are really important for all ecosystems, not just containers. At Docker, we're committed to helping developers build amazing applications using all the technologies that are coming forward, and especially with WebAssembly. We believe that there's a huge opportunity to let developers build new, new things, taking their existing skills um, and working with WebAssembly to ship new, new applications in new ways that are they offer significant improvements for them, and this is the path we're interested in taking. We're, as a company, we're, we're runtime neutral. We don't care where developers run things. We recognize there's a big variety of places, you know, cloud and platform as a service and so on, where people run their things, but we're a developer-focused company interested in helping people and leading them from the skills they have now and the tools they have now to the tools that help them do things it better in future. Um, we see a huge opportunity to lead the millions of developers who use Docker into this WebAssembly world, and that's our commitment to, to the community that we will help do this. 
um, I'd love to talk to you more about this in person. So and I'll be here on Wednesday. So um, it'd be great to catch up or just contact me anytime. Um, we're here to work with you on, on this exciting future. Thanks very much.